everyone. It's another God morning moment. And as always, we so look forward to spending this time with you. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you so much for connecting with us. Uh, we do have a lot of content available on YouTube and other social media platforms. So please remember to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. Well, we've been talking these last few days right. about forgiveness and in the context of relationships. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, I've been blessed with Amen. it. Amen. And so have I. <laughs> and so refreshed as well. Yes, and I'm sure Absolutely. you've been blessed as well. And you know, the point is, family, if you want to live the life that God has for you, then you must, you must, you must forgive people that have hurt you and you must do it as quickly as possible. And I know for some people, that might be a, a very difficult thing to do. I know right. in everybody's case, it's a yeah, difficult thing yeah. to do because, you know, forgiveness actually is not a feeling. Mm. We forgive by faith. By faith. And so, you know, it doesn't matter how we feel and maybe the person doesn't deserve it, yeah. but we do it by faith. Yeah, and the point is we're not doing it for them, them. we're doing it for us. That's so you're right. doing it for you when you yes. forgive. You're doing it for you. them, right. So I've got a bit of an illustration today. This bag here, which is empty, uh, represents the life, your life, okay? This is your life. Our life, and everybody's this is, life. You know, this is my life with God. And so I've got another bag here full of potatoes. And these potatoes represent an offense that I've picked up. So somebody offends me along my day and I get offended. Okay, now this bag that was fairly light starts to get heavy and then somebody else offends me and maybe two more people offended me. And so this bag starts to get fuller and fuller and fuller. And you offended and me. You and offended me and I offended, offended you, the next door neighbor. And, and we're picking up all these offenses. And all right. And that one said that and Let's, now we've... And everybody and we, and so it goes on. And yeah. as we go on in life, we just pick up offenses. And what's happening with this bag? This bag is getting heavier and heavier and heavier, okay? Right. And um, we carry this bag everywhere that we go. You know, we go to the mall, we carry this and bag. And we remember this offense and, and we're remembering one them and, and we're we replaying them because I don't want to forgive. And, they, and maybe you were justified in feeling the way that you felt and, and, and all of that kind of a stuff. But what's happening? Every time you pick an offense, what's happening? You're carrying the weight of these offenses. That's right. You're carrying the weight of these offenses. And it drains us spiritually, it drains us emotionally, physically as well, not to mention what Blood all of pressure, these offenses do to us. And we're gonna talk about yeah. that tomorrow. But here's what happens. Now, everywhere I go, I carry these offenses with me. And I know that it doesn't look like it's heavy, but with time, this weight becomes heavy. And we, we carry this weight everywhere. We carry it to the bathroom, we carry it into our marriage, we to carry work. it into our work environments. Uh, we carry it when we're talking to people. We carry it to church, some of and us do. And we actually talk to okay. people about all yeah. of these offenses and talk now, them about Now, think them. about the months go by, all right, the weeks go by, the months go by, the years go by. What's going to happen to these potatoes? I'll tell you what's going to happen to them is they start to get fraught. Look at all these horrible, dirty uh, potatoes. And if I had to open this, whew, it smells to high heaven. This is what, what actually offenses become like in our lives. Yeah. And uh, we're carrying these rotten, smelly potatoes, these rotten, smelly offenses. Our lives become smelly. We become toxic. You might not realize it, but you there's a there's a smell about your life. And nobody wants to come to this party. Nobody <laughs> wants to come to this smell. <laughs> nobody wants to hang around people that are toxic. That's right. And this is exactly what unforgiveness does to you and me. All right. So let's look yeah. at the scripture. Absolutely. And it's, it's a powerful scripture, yes, this. Yes, it is. And it's found and in Matthew 18, 21 to 22. And it says, And then Peter came up to him and said, Lord, how many times mm. may my brother sin against me? You know, because mm. always look at everybody sinning against mm. us. And right. you know, how many times should I forgive him? And let, let him go. go. I like the way the Amplifier says, and yeah. let it go. Forgive yeah. him and let it go. There's a key right there, all right? And so Jesus, so he says to Jesus, well, is it as much as seven times? Yeah. You know, and then Jesus... Because we normally work about an eight hour day. That's right. So it's, it's you know, an interaction with people. So you have your people. lunch at one, you and know, And so you, one you've got 
seven, eight times to forgive people. That's right. But look at what Jesus says. And then says Jesus here. answers him and says, I tell you, not up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. So how many is that? Back? That's 490. 490. So why don't you hashtag 490? 490. All right, put that in the message there. Connect with us, hashtag 490. That's a lot. That's uh, 490 times in one day. That's, that's quite a significant amount. And, and I mean, it's, he, he's just giving us like, a, he's just teasing us. But the yeah. point is that we need to forgive and we need to forgive as quickly, quickly as possible. Mm. So don't let somebody else's bad behavior mm -hmm. ruin the abundant life that God has in store for you. Absolutely. And people may ask, why should we forgive? And we can give you 10,000 reasons why you should forgive. But really, the number one reason why we should forgive is simply because God told us to forgive. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Yeah. I think sometimes we want to overcomplicate stuff and you need 10,000 reasons to justify why you need to do something. I'm just doing it because that's just what God God's told word, me to do. And, God and will do the if rest. we can just stick with the simplicity mm. of that message, I tell you what, but the key is guys, forgive and forgive quickly. And I don't know about you, but I found, babe, if I forgive quickly, then next time around, it becomes a lot easier. I think the that's quicker, why the Bible says, don't the let the quicker, sun go down on, on your, your anger, anger. Yeah. because you're gonna wake up the next yeah. morning feeling and the again, same thing. And, so yeah. the quicker you're able to forgive, the easier it becomes. That's the more right. you want to hold on and deliberate and try and justify yourself and blah, 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 blah. And we could write books on all of that if you wanted to, but uh, the, the harder it becomes. The, the quicker you do it, the easier it is. Yeah. And we're praying right now that as you've been listening to it, we don't want to be like the sack of potatoes, right? That's smelly, toxic and we give off a bad vibe and nobody wants to hang around us, nobody wants to be our friend. And more than that, we shut off the life that God has shut. for us. And we're believing for the best life that God has for you. Okay, that's our faith. And we're trusting right now that if there are issues, if there is unforgiveness, if there is an offense, whatever it is, that you would quickly uh, release that person. If you've got to go to that person and say sorry, whatever it is that the Spirit of God is and telling you to do. And even if they don't respond, if they don't respond, that doesn't mind. matter. Yeah. You need to make sure that there is no animosity, no resentment, mm -hmm. no hatred, no unforgiveness in your heart. Because again, we don't want to be like the smelly bag of potatoes. That's All right. right. So we're going to pray, Father. I want to thank, thank you, you today for every person watching that there is tremendous power in forgiving. And uh, we want to forgive just simply because you told us to forgive. And we want to obey you and do what it is that you tell us to do. And I thank you that as we do that, and if we do that quickly, Father, if we can wear forgiveness around our hearts and be able to forgive people quickly, God, that it becomes easier and easier and we will experience the manifestation of the life that you have created us to live. And we speak your blessing yes. now upon every person in Jesus. Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. All right, God we'll see you, you tomorrow. God bless you.